Now it's time for the final instalment oh. of Jimmy Serivai's Indian Adventure. And today he's checking at Mumbai and the famous street food and exploring how lunch is actually delivered Indian style. Jimmy. <laughs> With a population in excess of 20 million, Mumbai, formerly known as Bombay, is one of the most populated cities on earth, where beautiful colonial architecture dominate the bustling streets of Bollywood dreams. Mumbai is the melting pot of flavours from all over India, and the most important attraction here is the spicy street food. A favourite fast food snack with the locals, native to Mumbai, is pal bhaji. Jagdish, you've grown up with this amazing street food here in Mumbai. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the pow bhaji. Pow bhaji, bhaji, a combination of mixed vegetables. Yes. Combining steamed potato, tomato, French beans, cauliflower, wow. so it's a, and peas. So it's a complete mixture of vegetables, yes. fried in butter, yes. fried with bread. Sounds right. amazing. I might have to order one. Please. That's ready. Time to taste. Two spoons. Please, please, please. My turn to taste. How is this? That's really good. <laughs> really spicy. First class. From a local's perspective, meals don't get any better than those cooked at home. And for over a century, office workers have been having their lunch delivered by Mumbai's famous double wallas. Tiffin boxes containing hot meals are collected in the morning by bicycle. They are then taken to designated sorting places where they are grouped together and transported to offices by train. Munira uses the daily double wala service to deliver lunch to her husband. But today, she's leaving the cooking to me as I cook up a spicy cauliflower dish known as Gobi Sabzi. First step, I'm going to actually add the whole spices. So I've got some cloves, I've got some cardamom, and I've got some cinnamon. I'm going to add in the red onions. So let's put that in there. Time for some fresh curry leaves. I'll just throw a couple of them in there. That adds that really nice bite to it. Time for some tomatoes. Yes. And this really forms the curry paste. And you'll see that will start to splash up a bit. It smells beautiful, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. Your husband's going to be in for a treat. <laughs> Either that or he's going to come home. It's competition today. You reckon? <laughs> Time to go back to that masala dabba and add in some of these amazing spices that you have here. Oh, well, we have the chilli powder. Chilli powder. Let's put a little bit of chilli powder in. Maybe a bit more. We'll give yeah, him a bit of a surprise. Spicy. Does he yeah. like it spicy? Yes. OK, I'll put another one in. <laughs> this is the... Coriander powder. Coriander powder. So we'll put a bit of coriander powder in. There. Cumin powder. Some cumin powder. Yes. Perfect. We'll put the turmeric. And some turmeric as well. And there's our spices in. Sure. Okay, that curry paste is now nicely formed. Just yes. gonna throw the cauliflowers in. Yes. And we'll let that cook down till it's nice and soft. It's been about five minutes. Cauliflower should be cooked. How's that look? Yeah, very good. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. Time to close it up. Straight on the top, time to go with the double walla. Every day, around 4,000 double wallas deliver 160,000 home-cooked lunches to workers all over Mumbai. And they claim they make less than one mistake in every six million deliveries. Wallas pile into Mumbai's busy trains, and there's no gap too small for them to fit into. Well, it seems the lunchbox has arrived safe and sound. But how does my meal compare to his wife's cooking? Hello? What did he say? Well, he really loved the food. He loved it. I knew it. I knew it. All these years, I finally come to India and I can cook the food. Mm. Yes? Well, the competition was tough. Very tough. <laughs> Sonia and David, I told you I was the fourth best cook in the country. Got it. The fourth best. Fourth best. Aim high, Jimmy. How do you get a discount if you order that online? Um, for all of the details on how you can experience the amazing culture India has to offer, simply 
head to the tourism website, incredibleindia.org. That's right, you can find all the information on tours, flights and hotels so that you can plan your very own Indian adventure.